Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lawrence Training Academy, sponsored by Night and Day Marine. I am here with my HDS-12 Live, and today I wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Um, I've been getting a lot of, uh, you know, calls from people and just people saying that they're losing their water temperature on their unit. Now, this isn't really a new thing with the HDS. This has been going on dating back all the way to the original Gen 1s. Now, what happens is if, uh, usually at least, whenever you change out a transducer or you go and hook your boat or, you know, your unit up to your boat and you plug everything in, uh, sometimes it'll select a different data source for your water temperature. So like right here, instead of getting the nice little water temperature number, you get three dashed lines. Well, uh, there's nothing actually wrong with the unit. It's just a little glitch in the system and it's actually really easy to be fixed. So, I mean, I would say probably 95% of the time, there's not anything actually wrong with it. You just gotta go through and go into the settings and fix that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. There's actually two ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you the simplest way. And so all we do is we press our pages button right here. And then we go over and we press our settings icon. And then on the left side here, we're gonna scroll it up and then we're gonna select network. And then we're gonna choose data sources. Now this is our data source screen where you can basically choose where you wanna pull your data from for virtually anything in the unit. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select sonar and then we're gonna check water temperature. Now you can see how there's a couple options listed here. You're gonna see that too. Now what's probably gonna happen is when you go to the screen, the one that's gonna have the little orange check mark on it is gonna be an option that's gonna say invalid next to it. That means that that data source is no longer available to it. And so all you really have to do is pick one of the other options. Now, as you can see, mine says CH2. That means that it's the channel two, which is, it means it's pulling water temperature from the black port on the back, which is your structure port or your channel two. Now, if I wanted to pull from the blue port, it would say CH1 for your channel one. So it basically any of them is fine. All you gotta do is just say, click on one of them. It puts a little check. And then as long as your water temperature shows up down here at the bottom, it means that it's good. It means that it's gonna start showing up on your other screens. So once you have that set, you can go ahead and you can just press your X right here, X all the way back, and then you're gonna get your water temperature right there on your screen. And honestly, that's really it. It's something super simple and basic to do. And uh, I just wanted to put that out for you guys, because like I said, I'm getting a lot of you know comments and calls from people saying that they're not getting it on the screen and they think that there's something wrong with their transducer or their unit. And it's just something as simple as setting it in your data sources. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell. This will allow you to get notifications every time I release a new training video for your favorite Lowrance product. Also, I wanted to give you guys some really exciting news. We will have our very own website pretty soon, LawrenceTrainingAcademy.com. It's going to have even more of your favorite in-depth, comprehensive training videos, so keep an eye out. Of course, I'll be sure to let you all know along the way when it will be up and running. And don't forget, when you watch videos from Lowrance Training Academy, the difference is night and day. Alright, I'll see you all next time.